Hey everybody, looks like today is the day. Look what's here. We're going to start tearing this out today and uh, get things rolling for getting this foundation built. Now I'm going to do a couple little things for documentation purposes, but I'm going to include it in the video so you can understand my thought process. So hold on tight. Okay, this tape measure is the proximate back boundary line for the shot give or take an inch or two. But here's something that's key. From the other side of that post up to here is 35 one and a half inches. So roughly 35 feet and change. That is to be the corner of the shop. It'll be interesting to come back when this is done to make sure that's going to be the same. And then this down here is exactly 30 feet from up there. So we will run a tape on everything before they pour concrete. And go from there. So we'll see how this contractor and I, this, this foundation and I, uh, get along with each other. He's rough around the edges, and so am I. Well, day one is over prematurely. The Bobcat threw a drive belt. So there's not much that can be done right now until that has been replaced. So, hey, <laughs> what can I say? It's my place. That's what happens is uh, things like that seem to happen to me anyway. So for now, this is what we got done. Move some dirt around. Move some gravel around. And, and a broken rig, and a broken bobcat. It is what it is. So, <clears throat> one thing that sucks about construction sites how they tore up things get so quickly and it's going to take for a long time to recover from it but that's okay with that area there we were going to do something other than grass in that area anyway anticipating this so we'll see the place looks looks horrible i am really hoping 
that we can get it to look better. Even the roses are looking rough. Okay, everybody, the dig out is complete. Gravel is now laid, nice and smooth. The next step is framing up the stem walls for the foundation. So there was a lot of dirt moved out of here. I have two piles. Each one of them is about 15 yards each. One's gonna be for the new yard where the old garage comes out, and the other one is for the garden area a lot of good a lot of good dirt so there you go 
the dig out's done. Just remember, everyone's life is an adventure. And then there's mine, watching people play in the dirt. This is the Adventures of Charles Jr. Have a good one, everybody. See ya.